Atravik. Understand, solve, success. Today, we're going to see about problems on sets, part two. In part one, we saw about definition of a set, representation of a set, types of set, ordinal number of a set, and quiz. Today, we're going to see about the basic five types of questions. Come on, let's see the first question. Find the cardinal number of each of the following set. A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, C is equal to X of X is the days of the week, D is equal to X of X is the letter in the word positive. 5 e is equal to so let us take a is equal to 0 so what is the cardinality of a number so this cardinal number represents the number of elements in a set so in this set we have we have one element named 0 so the number of a will be 1. D is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. So there are 4 elements in this set. So the cardinal number of this set will be 4. C is equal to x of x is the days of the week. So this is in set builder form. So all of us know that a week contains seven days. So we should change this set builder form into rooster form. So we write it as C is equal to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So number of C is equal to seven. D is equal to X of X is the letters in the word positive. So all of us know that there is 1P, 1O, 1S, 2I, 1T, 1V and 1E in the word positive. So there are 8 letters in the word positive. So the number of D is equal to 8. E is equal to nothing. There is no element in this set. So this is called an empty set or null set. So the number of E is equal to zero because empty set or null set uh, de denotes zero as a cardinality number. Let's see the second question. Are the following sets equal? A is equal to A E S T. D is equal to X of X is the letter in the word T's. C is equal to X of X is a letter in the word East. So we take the sets A and B and we are going to write the elements of a set. Now we are going to cross check it. So here the A is there and A. So E and E. So the letters can be repeated. Yes is here and yes is here. T e is here and T e is here. So other than these alphabets, there are no other alphabets in this two elements. Set. So these two sets are equal. We know that the set A and B are equal. So now we need to find whether the set C is equal to set B and A. So we write the element of set E and again we are going to cross check it. A, A and A, E, E and E, yes, yes and yes, T, e, T e and T. E. There are no other elements or uh, alphabets other than these uh, things. So we define that C is also an equal set. So 
So we denote that uh, these three sets are equal. So come on, let's see the third question. Let A is equal to A, G, U, E, X, O, S. Give any two subset of A. So what is a subset? A subset is a, a set which uh, gives the element of the set A as its element. So we write the set B and C as GUS and SOGS respectively. So there is no other alphabets other than these, in these elements. So we define that the set B and C is equal to set A. So it is called subset of A. So let us take the fourth question as in a survey of university students, 74 had taken max course, 94 had taken chemistry course, 58 had taken physics course, 28 had taken max and physics course, 26 had taken max and chemistry course, 22 had taken chemistry and physics course, and 14 had taken all the three courses. Find how many had taken only one course. So, in this type of question, we have two types of solving. One is step-by-step -step solving and solving by Venn diagram. In this question, we are going to solve it by step-by-step -step solving. So step one. So let uh, MCP represent sets of students who had taken max, chemistry and physics. So M represents max, C represents chemistry and P represents physics. Step two, from the given information, we have number of M is equal to 64, number of chemistry is equal to 94, Number of physics is 58. Number of max and physics is 28. Number of max and chemistry is 26. Number of chemistry and physics is 22. Number of max, chemistry and physics is 14. So step three, WTFO. So what this WTFO represents is what to find out. So we need to find how many had taken only one course. So there are three courses in the college. That's Max, Chemistry and Physics. So these three subjects are given by the Institute. So there are 64 in Max, 94 in Chemistry and 58 in Physics. So the sum of three numbers are 216. So answer for this question will be 216. Now we are going to see how to solve questions using Venn diagram. Students of class 8, 65 plays football, 45 play hockey, 42 play cricket, 20 play football and hockey, 25 play football and cricket, 15 play hockey and cricket and 8 play all the three games. Find the number of students in class 8. So we make a Venn diagram like this. So F represents football, H represents hockey and C represents cricket. So 28 students plays only football 18 students play only hockey and 10 members play only cricket and 17 members play football and cricket, 12 play football and hockey and 7 play hockey and cricket and 8 members play all the 3 games. So the sum of these numbers become 100. So the answer for this question will be there are 100 students in class 8.